Hello, welcome to Toffee TV. It is the match preview Everton versus Sheffield United in the most relaxed match preview. The last one we did was quite relaxed against Luton Town, but I feel like this is more relaxed. I feel like this is like super relaxed. Last home game of the season. Neither team has anything really to play for. I mean, they're relegated, so they've got really nothing to play for. Everton do have, obviously, places to play for, money. I think it's 3.3 million per place now. Um, it's a big source. So Everton obviously want to finish the season on a high. Um, be five home wins in a row if Everton could win as well, which would be unbelievable. Um, and and mm. just going out, going out with a little bit of, little bit of something, keeping those fans happy, which has been very hard to see. It is the most relaxed match preview I've done for mm. a, a long time. Mm. Uh, it, the opportunity to get, like you say, five home wins on the run is a big one. 40 points if Everton could win, they'd hit the 40-point marker, even with two points deductions, yeah. which would be a good return. Um, it was imperative that we sorted our home form out. Mm -hmm. Been banging on about that all season. You know, and it, we... we took till April to get our fourth home win of the season. Yeah. And we've won four since then. So it shows you that what the upturn in form has like been has been like at Goodison Park. And and Saturday represents the opportunity to extend that and send everyone away from Goodison happy for the summer because it's the last home game and obviously the last penultimate home game in Goodison Park, of course. Um I know, but I'm, you know we're going into that final season, aren't we? So yeah. we wanna we wanna finish on a high. I'm sure the manager will wanna finish on a high mm -hmm. at Goodison. Um, but the last time Sheffield United came to Goodison at the end of the season when they were relegated, they beat us. Mm -hmm. Daniel Jebison scored after seven minutes, and we couldn't overturn it. Um, and in fact, we just haven't beat them at home, have we? Since they were promoted, the two times they've been mm -hmm. promoted, they've won at Goodison. So in recent times, so we have to put that right as well. And We've got a great opportunity to do so. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it is a good opportunity because obviously, you know, you've seen in the last few weeks, I think they, they lost 4-2 uh, at Old Trafford, 5-1 St. James's Park. Obviously got beat last week, 3-1 at home to Forest. So did you ship a lot of goals, uh, over 100? Only the second club ever, I think, in Premier League history to ever ship over 100 goals. They, are, they have gone down with a bit of a whimper, haven't they? And, um, which I mean, listen, they came up, and I don't think there was any expectation. They didn't buy, they didn't buy anyone. They, you know, they, they obviously brought a new manager. They thought it was a bit crazy, really, considering that the expectations were zero. Um, they obviously took Mason mm. Holgate off us on loan, which is nice of them. Uh, unfortunately, he can't play. Mm. Um, but um, they'll just be looking for pride, won't they? The manager will set them out at the last two games. Um, and 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 try and upset up the apple cart a little bit. They have, they have had a few goals in them of late, mm -hmm. you know. So they'll be thinking, right? You can if we get a goal against these. These don't score loads of goals. Make it mm -hmm. make it our afternoon instead of their afternoon. You know, it will be a game where it's not going to be blood and thunder. Of course, it's not because you do see, you do see, and we've seen the last couple of weeks for certainly when Brentford come to go to St. Enos, going to Luton, when it really matters, players. And given absolutely everything, and you you only have to fall below that little bit. It's just do you want it more quality wise? We you know obviously we should have enough, but in those moments of the games, it's just do you want it more. Yeah, it is. It'll be a slower pace, of course, because like you just said, there isn't. There's not money. Mm. You know, for Everton, it's keep can you keep adding the points, which is what we want to do. For them, a little bit of pride. The relegated now. There was there wasn't any expectation. They didn't overspend. The, you know, the thing for them, they they knew this season was about taking the money and then clearing some of the mm. debts they've got being stronger next season in the Championship so that if they do get promoted next time up in the Premier League in two years' time, they will be mm. uh, in a much stronger position to, to be able to bring players in and strengthen the club that way. That was the MO that was kind of set out, I think, by them in the summer. They, they brought in Gustavo Hammer from... Uh, from Coventry, and he's been a bright spot, I think, for mm -hmm. them all season. 
Ben Brayton Diaz came in in January and he's the top goal scorer. Yeah, yeah. For them, they have scored goals. They have been a bit freer of late. They still had some hammerings, of course. They have when they they go, they seem to go. Mm. But they've played with a little bit more. Yeah, freedom, I guess. Mm. You know, they were three one down to Fulham or only other week and got it back to three three and. Um, Oh, sorry, we three went up against Fulham, they rather than conceded. But they have scored goals. But you're right, you know, last week I think was the, even though they were gone, they were a goal up against Forrest and once Forrest equalised, they took over. So for Everton's perspective, we've got an opportunity to finish on a, on a high daily at Goodison Park mm. against a team that does concede a lot of goals. And... Everton are a team that don't score a lot of goals. I think they're the second yeah. lowest scorers in the Premier League behind Sheffield United. Yeah. So, uh, sorry, just one yeah, yeah. ahead of Sheffield United. So, for us, it's got to be an opportunity for for us to go the match, enjoy it, for the players to play in a more relaxed manner, but to, mm. to do the job and, and get the victory. And it'd be a good way for them to sign off at Goodison Park with a win, like I said, send the majority of the supporters home. And, Build a little bit of momentum going into next season. Start yeah. creating that thing of it's a tough place to go again. And I think yeah. five wins on the run does that. It makes the players mm. believe in this stadium we can't be beaten. And of course, yeah. Everton, one mad fact is Everton haven't won a home game in which the opposition have scored since the Crystal Palace game when we were 2 0 down and stayed up. Mm. And Frank Lampard was the manager. So, you know, that shows you that mm. we. we when we win, we're quite resolute. We have clean sheets, and um, let's have another one. Do we? Do you know as well that we've never won a game at Goodison Park when the other team scored more goals than us? That is a, that's a stat that I think I was aware of. Yeah, but you've just reminded yeah, me that it's, is a, it's a big one. That it's there a big one. Normally, I don't think we can change that before we go to the new ground. Either. No, I think I think normally that is a, a fact. Um, you know, and I, I imagine that'll continue with Bradley. Yeah, I, I do. You know, when the it's, opposition... It's one we just can't more. get away from. Mm. Talking of uh, Brendan Diaz, let's mm. have a little look at his numbers for the season so far. 12 games, 6 goals. That's not bad, that, is mm. it? Next year, 5.37. So he's obviously he's obviously doing uh, better than that. Assists one from an XA of 1.1202. Yeah, I mean, he's got a few penalties in that, hasn't he? Yeah. Um, but since he, he came in in January, no other Sheffield United player has scored more goals than him. Yeah. So, you know, he'd he done well at Blackburn. In fact, linked with Everton. Mm, of course he was, him. yeah. So people will be able to have a look at him up close at the weekend. He'd go, he's obviously going back to Villarreal mm. in the summer, being on loan. But he's done, he's done well. He put himself in the shop window, hasn't he? Mm? put himself in the shop window for a movie. Not, I don't think he'll stay in Spain. But you could imagine coming back to uh, either a team t near the top of the championship or a team looking for something who are coming up. Mm. Who knows? But I can't imagine he'll stay in Spain. But let's just have a look at the Sheffield United team that faced Forrest mm. last week. Um, as I said, Brendan Diaz and Cameron Archer, who of course scored against Everton, didn't he? In the 2-2. Um, Hammer there in the middle. Uh, and obviously they're going to have to make a replacement in the defence because uh, Ahmed... Havic got sent off mm -hmm. uh, late on as well. Obviously, they can't put Mason Holgate back in there because obviously oh. he can't play against his parent team. So they're going to have to make a decision there. But obviously, the 3 5, three, five 2 that they play, mm -hmm. maybe they'll go back to a 4. I don't know, but they'll have to say. Or maybe they'll decide to play some kids or something. Who knows? Uh, I'm not really sure. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't really thought about it that much. I can tell. Um, nice to see Tom Davis, wouldn't it? It would. But I think he might be injured. So, yeah, obviously he signed for Sheffield United last summer, didn't he? And mm. got a bad injury yeah. early, didn't he? But you know, he's been there or thereabouts at mm. times, been involved. But yeah, like I say, it we don't know what to expect from them. They'll come. Mm. They've got nothing to lose. It's done anyway, isn't it? It's a yeah. case for them. Of, I wonder if Chris Wilder's looking at things, building for next season. In the championship, ah, isn't it? Because do we expect them to be the manager there next season? I don't. Well, know. I mean, what would? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you'd never know, do you? No, because you... like they sacked Heckenbottom, even though they knew they were going to go down. Mm. He brought Wilder in, and really be much of an if an uplift. He's had to go, but no. that, like you said, that you you know, 
their plan was for next season, I think, yeah. but in a stronger financial position. Yeah. Why would you change him if he wants it? Because he I think I would change time. it because I'd, I'd be looking to move away from what mm. they've been doing and get a clean slate and they've got some money from the Premier League mm. and yeah, parachute maybe. payments and I'd be looking to have a clean slate and younger manager, get an maybe. upcoming younger manager to mm. take over and just the, the, the money they'll have earned this year gives them a great platform to do that. So, on the parachute payments, as I said, but yeah, that's what's in it, isn't it? Uh, let's have a look at the Everton team that played Luton, which feels so long ago now. Mm -hmm. um, I can't really imagine too many changes from that side, but is there any any changes you'd make or look to make for this game with it being last game of the season? And... It's, it's tough, isn't it? Because obviously, you know, you could talk about giving Beto another game or giving Schmitty who done yeah. the lighter game and, and maybe but for what for what end? You know, Dom's I know it was a penalty again, but he's on a good run yeah, of goals yeah. now, so why take him out? Um you could take the core out and mm. put Schmitty off him and, and try something new. For next season you could play McNeil in the ten and put Dan Juma and give Dan Juma a go. But it's not staying, so I don't think yeah. the managers be invested no. in him. I think what I don't what? think Dice does emotion. No, I'm not, I'm not talking about emotion. I'm just talking about but the point of Dan There's no point with Dan Zuma, is there? Because he's not staying. So, yeah. thinking about giving him minutes, what's, mm. for what reason? So, yeah. it's not Evans' problem. He's Villarreal's problem again, isn't he? Next mm. season. So, the only kind of thing you could look at to get out of this game would be trying McNeil maybe in a tenancy mm. or, or as one. Of, but yeah, he's not, I don't think he's going to do this. Mm. He's going to leave the core, right? So therefore, for me, would be getting trying to get maybe a Mackenzie Hunt on the pitch yeah. or a Jensen yeah. Metcalf and, yeah. and Schmitty towards the yeah, end. And, and obviously, we've the managers at the press conference um, and has kind of indicated Seamus Coleman may well be staying on for next yeah. season. Um, and I think a couple of people have took that and, and said he's been offered a contract. Yeah. Um, so we'll mm -hmm. see, but it's, I think... I think we can accept that Seamus will be here again next season, which is good. So mm -hmm. there's no overriding need to get Coleman on the pitch as well because it's not a farewell yeah. thing. But I would like I would like him to to maybe get Mackenzie Hunt and yeah, Jensen would, yeah. McCarth on at some stage yeah, and I would. let them have a little taste of it. Even. Lewis Warrington. Well, that's just if, yeah. The other two, I think Lewis Warrington. I don't know because I don't know whether Evans' plans are for him to move on, but. It'd be nice if he mm, was staying to give him some time, but certainly Metcalf and uh, Mackenzie Hunt, because I think they, mm. I think they probably will be involved again next season. Got to think long term, though. Mm. You got to think about Lewis Wellington in the Masters League. Yeah, well, he, he played at Fleetwood, so he has played for us. I know, but I think you need like three appearances. Oh, okay. So, well, no, listen. If it's the, if the opportunity, well, why wouldn't you get him on? If the opportunity's yeah. there, get him on in midfield yeah. and let him make his Premier League debut forever. Why not get him on? Mm. And hopefully. You know, we Everton could get in a position where yeah. the, the, the the manager could do that because it's yeah. the last home game. Yeah. The crowd always like that. Yeah, as well, yeah. Don't they? But you've got to have the, the right result. But I want to. I'd like Schmitty to get longer than mm. four minutes at the end yeah, of a game. Yeah. That'd be helpful, wouldn't it? As well. Yeah. There you go. So obviously, last game of the season. Ever, this time. It's tough though. It won't be. No, the last. Be a, the last two game. seasons. The last game. Of the last game at home. It's been horrific. It's been horrific. This mm. time we get to enjoy it, and yeah, and I think we all will. Mm. Not. Not. I'm, don't know whether the Gladysters will sit down. It's going to be a major issue. No, I don't think they will. I don't think. I don't think they will. But my buddy, celebration, sir. Celebration of relaxedness. Yeah. Nothing else. Surely that might be a word. Not well, if it isn't, it is not. It, well, yeah. It's up there with my stat. It's okay. one of the. It's two of the things you can take from this video, mm. and and take with you and and put out there. Give put back to the people. The people. <laughs> okay. There you go. Bane, knew it, you knew it all along. There you go. Thank you for uh, watching this video. Make sure to check out my Start 11 as well when it comes out later on. Uh, and if you want more great videos, videos without adverts and the podcast without adverts and the videos that are live, exclusive, and you won't get anywhere else. And you'll hear Baz say more words like that, invent more words on the spot. Then come and check out Toffee TV Premier. It's literally for the price of it's a It's relaxing. It's definitely not a word. Oh, just sad. I feel like it should be. Relaxness. There's a relaxedness yeah. about the place. Maybe it is. It's got a bounce back ability about I it. I think though. so. 
Uh, let us to, to come and join us on Toffee TV Premier. Obviously, loads we've had loads of new people join us, and uh, none of them have left yet, so it must be all right. Mm. Uh, for the price of literally a cup of coffee, it's less than a cup of coffee. It is, it is, and where you've been, where I've been, it's oh, yeah, yeah, it's three I mean, times less than yeah, a cup for of the coffee. coffee cup that you bought me. I mean, Jesus Christ, you've got a year's worth. You know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Um, link is in the description. It's great. Have my prices. <laughs> uh, you get to see um, Ned in some incredible Ned's attire. Likes. As well, and that's like cheap. Dude, so, definitely. come and join us over on Safi TV Premier, which will be invaluable in the summer. Invaluable as we go through all of the stories. Is that a Sean promise? It's a Sean Dice promise, oh, okay. not a little Sean promise. Oh, okay, so, yeah. thanks for watching. Bye.